Hey guys, my name is Ismas, and today we're looking at TradeGen, which is a free Blender add-on that lets you generate procedural trees uh, for Blender. You can see some of the examples they have been, uh, they have generated using this add-on, and I think uh, they look amazing. Uh, there's a lot of variation uh, that you can see here. So yeah, let's try and uh, use it, see how to use it. So if you go to this link and uh, download uh, the add-on, I just have to go to code and then download. Um, zip file then install it like any other add-on go to preference edit preferences add-on install navigate to where you have the add-on uh, downloaded and then install it and activate it so after you activate it it's going to be in the tools menu here i actually haven't activated it here so let me just go to tree gen if you hit n it's going to be uh under here in the tools menu and uh, you can easily uh, generate different uh, trees so there is a lot of different presets to choose from you can uh, say select the apple tree generate and uh, it should generate uh, the tree for you, you can see what we have and uh, the great thing about this add-on is, is that uh, it's well documented uh, so if you go to uh, the download page again the link is going to be in the description if you scroll down you'll find a documentation available on wiki and uh, if you load that it will take you to this page uh, where you can read through the different uh, settings to use uh, for example if you want to select a different set of uh, leaves uh, you can see list of uh, different shapes so this is this and uh, this is this so the list just follows itself like that and uh, I find that list under customization a leaf shape I also have this blossom spawning uh, so how these leaves are going to spawn uh, so we get that as well yeah, you can see I have a different spawning a list of different presets to choose from again you have apple uh oak tree black oak and uh, different settings uh, but uh, if you want to create your generate your own customized tree all you have to do is uh, refer to this uh to this documentation and uh, select the different styles so for example let's see what style do we want here let's generate a custom a tree uh, this small one so frame uh, for the general tree shape tree shape let's go with Flame leaf shape. Let's go with uh, let's try this. Now, this has a lot of polygons. Let's just go with this leaf shape. Let's go with linear. And uh, after you're done with that, all you have to do is uh, go down to save a uh, save custom tree. And now, if you scroll back up and the load our uh, presets here, you can find your new custom tree. Hit generate, and that should give me a new tree. Yes, and uh, this is what we have. I can see that uh, the leaves are what we wanted, uh, this linear tree shape. Yeah, so I've generated a different trees just so the UV unwrapping process is a bit faster since I'm recording and uh, uh, it takes up a lot of resources. Uh, so yeah, the problem with this tree generator is that uh, it doesn't really UV and it doesn't generate the materials or UV unwrap uh, the tree. So when you tr when it's time to texture the, the leaves, it's going to be a bit of a problem. So one issue is that uh, if you try to UV unwrap the tree by just hitting you unwrap are uh, you going to find that uh, it just generates a lot you blender just unwraps uh, the leaves separately individually so meaning that uh, texturing this is going to be a bit hard uh, because if we applied a new material add a texture image texture and loaded it say a leaf you can see the problem we are having is that uh, because each leaf is a separate island. Uh, some leaves are this side and you can't easily just move them around uh, to the center here. So one solution I found is that uh, you can use uh, the transfer UV uh, option. Uh, so if you select, let me, let's first isolate, let's first isolate uh, the leaves. So if you select all the leaves and then hit P, separate by loose parts. Just give it a moment to, uh, to select to separate all the objects. You can see that uh, now we have separated all the leaves into a single into different into separate into separate uh, leaves and uh, now what we can do is uh, if we unwrap one one leaf like this unwrap align it to our texture just like this if you want the all the other leaves to use the same UV here you just have to make sure this is the active object then select all the, the rest of the leaves and then Ctrl L, then use transfer UVs. And that should transfer the UVs so that everything uses the same UV map. Then after the transfer, then you can 
just join this back into a single mesh control j so that you don't have millions of other leaf objects in your scene so now you see what we have done the trunk is very easy to texture uh, so i just leave that to you but uh, uh, everything else is yeah we have our leaf uh, texture setup yeah thank you for watching again you can download the uh, the add-on i uh, find a link in